Hey guys, David here and welcome to a brand new YouTube tutorial. In today's video, I want to show you really quickly how you can create a really simple 60 second Instagram uh, workout video from start to finish using the InShot app. If you haven't used it before, it's super simple. You can download it on your phone. It's completely free. You can edit transitions. You can put text. You can put background music. You can do everything you're going to need to create a perfect 60 second workout video on Instagram. Enough of me talking. Let's dive straight into the training. Okay, let's dive straight in. We need to head up straight over to the App Store and download the app called InShot Video Editing. It's got a 4.8 rating from 95,000 people. So if 95,000 people have rated it and it's still coming out at 4.8, you can clearly see this is gonna be a really good video editing app. As we scroll through, it looks like it gets updated often, so it updated one month ago, and they've got plenty of previews for us to see the different types of things we can do with it. So go ahead, press download. Once you press download, let's open the app up. Okay, so in this video, like I said, I'm going to show you quickly how to record a 60 second Instagram video so you can post it online straight away and start generating views and potential leads and uh, conversations. So before we do any of the editing, we just need to go away and record the four workouts. So I have an intro video here. This is me tidying up quickly and then welcoming everybody to the video. Then I've got me doing the sit-ups, me doing some shoulder taps. We've got the final one, which is doing some tuck. And then we've got an outro. So we've got three exercises, an intro and an outro. Once you've got those recorded, let's go straight back to the app. So now we can do video or photos. We're going to do with video. So we're going to tap video. We're going to press new. And then we're going to tap all five videos. So the intro, exercise one, two, three, and uh, the outro. And press tick to confirm. So here you go now. You can see all of them have been added in nicely. And all we need to do now is start editing them all down. So what we're going to do is you pinch the timeline together and this condenses everything down. You can see they're all coming much smaller. Ooh. So they're all really close together now. So let's just work our way through them. So this looks like it's in the wrong place. This looks like it's the outro. Okay, so, they were the three exercises I so I'm going to press pause. Because it's the outro, I'm going to tap, hold, and move it towards the end. So that would mean this one, when I press, is the intro. So pause, tap, hold, and move it across. So all you need to do is just play around getting them in order. So that is my intro. Then it should be sit-ups. So that's tucks, so let's tap and move this towards the end and the sit-ups one tap and move it into place so now if I go right to the start and press play I've got an intro sit-ups shoulder taps knee tucks and an outro okay so first of all let's cut down this uh, intro so when we tap on it, straight away it says trim. But we're gonna go to a slightly different one. We're gonna press pre-cut here. Then we're gonna just move it along until you're happy with where it needs to start. So if I keep sliding across, and let's press play here. Perfect. So let's press stop. Then on the other side, we're gonna move this one across until we finish it. Okay, and then press tick to save. So if I go right to the start. Okay, press pause. So now we've done that one. We're going to press pause and tap on the second one. We're going to press trim or pre-cut just one here so pre-cut the one with the scissors 
and then we're going to cut this down to where it needs to start so that's going to start just here and let's end it just here Great, uh, press tick to save okay now we need to shorten this video because as you can see at the minute it says the video is 1 minute 53 seconds long so if we tap the video we're going to scroll down to it, it says speed once you've got speed let's speed it up let's times two let's see what that looks like oh, go back and press play good but as you can see i make noises so let's press stop so if we tick that video we're going to slide all the way to it says volume just here and we're going to juice that to zero and press green tick or press to tick okay so let's we're happy with that one so it should go intro Okay, nice. Press pause. Let's go to the second video. Let's slide it across until we find the pre-cut. So give that a tick. Take it across until you find the starting point. Just there. Let's reduce it down to the end point. Just there. Tick. Let's go down to speed. Change the speed to 2 and tick to save let's do the third video third video uh, pre-cut chop it down to where I start just there where I end just there tick speed I'll move that to two tick okay so we're almost there now it's showing me the video is one minute and two seconds long so just right down in this corner here i'm not sure if you can see but it says one minute and two seconds so there's two things we need to edit now we need to slide all the way across and we need to cut the last video that is 23 seconds long but we need to trim it down so let's press pre-cut and move it to where i start talking And move it to where I stop talking. And tick. Done. So now let's just slide through it. At the minute it's now telling us it's 49 seconds long. So let's press play. nice okay so let's just press pause next what we're going to do we're going to slide all the way across here i'm going to press text we're going to put quick ab workout and press tick i'm going to drag this all the way up here so now it is white so as we move it around can you see a little line pops up as we move it around to center it off so that is in the center if we press the pencil up here we can then change the color and the font so if i press the rainbow color i can choose a different color so let's just go with black if i press the a and a that changes the font so you just play around and find the one for you let's just go for system press tick okay now with these two arrows just here what we need to do is we need to make it start at the start and end at the end so if you press the end one oh, let's go back actually let's press tick here let's zoom out press the text again zoom out a bit more press it and then the arrows so a little tap uh video beginning and tap video end now it comes the whole way through so when the video starts it's there 
and when it ends as we slide through it ends here so next what we're going to do is we're going to put text for each one so we need to find out where i start doing the sit-ups just there we're going to press text we're going to press plus this green one here and we're going to put 10 sit ups tick drag it down find the center there you go and then this time instead of doing the end at the start we're going to press the end arrow here and we're just going to put end clip and the start arrow i'm going to put clip beginning so now when we slide this across this is me talking this is me doing the sit-ups and it pops up and then we need to move on to the next one so i'll just do those quickly now so green tick 10 shoulder taps tick move it down find the center tick clip beginning tick clip end last one oh so it's gone to the wrong place so tick so we need to drag this down And last one, tick, uh, tax. At the start and at the end, nice. So here you go. Last bit, let's add a bit of text in here. Let me me a comment or oh, let's put a comment how you got on and this problem with this bit now is kind of out of frame so there's two ways we press tick and we can pull it and make it smaller like this using the up down arrow and fit it into space or if we press the pencil and we come to maybe say how comment how backspace return you got on let's add a few dots at the end tick and then find the center arrow beginning the clip arrow end the clip nice 10 sit-ups or 10 tucks straight into how we got on okay we're almost there okay so let's press the green tick maybe now you want to add your logo in so maybe you want to put your logo maybe in this top corner so we're going to press sticker we're going to press the picture here and you're going to go to your camera roll and find your logo so if i know my logo i've saved it as favorites and here it is unfortunately it's come out just in the wrong shape so let's press x on that let's press sticker again let's find a logo Let's go with this one here. And this has given me a white background. So if you upload a transparent picture to InShot, it gives it a white background. So what we need to do, we need to press X. We need to add sticker. We need to import a sticker. Find it in your uh, drive. So the, this is my desktop. So if I press X, I've got one here. I can move this around and fit this into place and tick start at the beginning and finish at the end so the whole time i'm talking it's always going to be in that top corner last bit we're going to add some music so let's press the tick and we're going to slide all the way across to where it says music then we're going to add some music in okay so let's press tracks find the track that you're happy with there's loads of tracks here uh, so let's go for this one Let's tap this one, see what it's like. It's loading up. Okay, so the song has downloaded. We're now gonna press the download button here. And that's gonna download it onto our track list. So it's downloading, we're gonna press use, and now it's added it in. So now we need to just play around with it. So let's just say we're happy, we're gonna press the green tick, and then we press play. Okay, let's stop there. 
Now the music's a little bit too loud. I can't really hear me talking. So I'm going to press music. I'm going to tap this. I'm going to come across to where it. it says volume. Press volume and lower it down. So let's say I go with 10%. Press green, press the tick. Press tick, slide across, press play. Nice, slide through. This is me kind of going from there. Now let's just add a few more bits, okay? You see where this clips go from one clip? Oh, we go from one clip to the second clip. We have these little things in the corners here. These are transition points. So we click it. We can add a transition. So let's just say we have a little glitch. Or we could do... There's loads of different options. So you decide which one works best. Let's say we go glitch. And then you just do it to all of them. Find glitch. Find it. Glitch. Find glitch. Okay, so now you can see it works smoothly. Every time we transition. Let's go to the next one. Oh, press play. And press pause. Okay, so that is really quickly there uh, how we do it. So we've recorded all five videos. We've put them all in. We've cut them down into sections. We've got a header. We've got a footer for each time the exercise changes. We've got transitions. We've added in a background image. Um, and we've added some music too. Now to export it, all we're going to do is press this top button up here. Press save. And now this is going to save it onto your phone. Like it says, you can't leave this screen until it's finished. So it's just doing its thing. 50, 60, 70, almost there. Perfect. Now let's go to the camera roll. Slide out. Camera roll. Here it is. Press play. And that is it. Okay, that was the video. I know I did go on a little bit, but I wanted to create the video and make sure it was as perfect as possible so you could see every single stage step by step. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Or you want me to record any different types of trainings, like we've got the Zoom Live one, just let me know in the comments as well. Anyway, I'll speak to you all next time. Thanks for watching. Now come join us inside our free Facebook group where on a daily basis we share tons of content to help you generate leads for your fitness business.